Okay, everybody, <laughs> that's what happens when you record videos for the entire world. You don't have enough space eventually. So I massage his shoulders. Je lui masse les épaules. Now, once you're comfortable with the verb masser, to massage, you probably think... Um, you probably think, um, you probably think that it's je masse ses épaules, okay? But it's much better to use this other system, much, much better, okay? So let's look at a few more examples where this is going to take place. So the main one that's going to be difficult to get into your mouth, so to speak, is lui un leur, yeah? M and the t kind of happens automatically. So for example, um, he... Um, he touched her ass. The guy in the bar, oh my gosh, he touched her ass, like he's out of order. Il lui a touché le cul. Il lui a touché le cul. Now, you can say il a touché son cul, but it's just il lui a touché le cul. It's like the action's going towards that person with that, okay? Um, I, the other day, read... Uh, talking about somebody in hospital, who said, Il m'enlève les tubes. Okay, il m'enlève les tubes. The example is underneath with everything else in the description. So, with tube, I mean, unless, for example, it's a bit of a coarse way of saying it, but unless, for example, it was a hysterectomy and someone was saying, oh, they removed my tubes or something, um, you know, oh, we're getting a bit literal, but if, you know, if it was that kind of thing, then yet, yeah, il m'enlève les tubes, they remove my tubes, that the m there will kind of take on the function of my. But otherwise, it's just like they removed the tubes for me. So this guy was saying he'd had a lung operation, um, um, and he's saying in the present tense, oh, they're removing the tubes for me, il m'enlève les tubes, okay? So he wasn't saying, ils enlèvent mes tubes, they're removing my tubes. He's saying, oh, they're removing the tubes for me. Il m'enlève les tubes. So let's say I was going to tell someone else and said, oh, they're removing, they're removing the tubes for him. Il lui enlève les tubes. Okay, the for him. So what I'm really trying to make very clear is that you don't only use this method when you don't use the possessive my, your, his that we use with body parts, and we will use that method with that to show whose body part we're talking about. But even if you are still using a possessive, you can still use this method. So I'm going to do their work for them. Je vais leur faire leur travail. Um, je vais leur faire leur travail. So this is a really, really, really very common method to be, to be, to, th that you will see. Why is this particularly important? Those of you that watched the video that was great, we did a community video that was um, uh, an hour and 15 long about really how to store all these new French functions that you're reading and coming across in the dictionary method video, really good video. Those of you that saw that, I said, so you're going to have to look at what you're reading and work out how you're going to store that. So if you see lui, you might go, oh, okay, so it's kind of direct, indirect, it's, it's an indirect verb. So, for example, if I saw, il lui fait le travail, il lui fait le travail, would I then think, oh, that automatically means it's travailler, you know, il lui fait le travail, would I think it's faire le travail à quelqu'un? Not necessarily. Um, uh, if I was saying I'm going to do um, Luke's work, I, if I was using a name, I would just say, je vais faire le travail de Luke. Yeah? Or pour Luke, je vais lui faire son travail. You know, so this is really very, very, very much to be focused on when you use the pronouns and the words kind of come before. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be using the at and then the person name to do this, um, to use this method. Okay, so they're going to remove Monique's tubes, for example, in a hospital. Ils vont enlever les tubes de Monique. Okay, um, uh, Monique, ils vont enlever ses tubes. You know, um, or il, il, Monique, ils vont enlever ses tubes. Monique, ils vont lui enlever les tubes. All of these methods start coming in. Okay, so let's have a little look about what else happens when you do this method. When you use this method, it also brings up another interesting little happening, which is it means which is it means which means you're going to be using direct and indirect pronouns together. Now we've talked about this before. I give him. 
je lui donne. Um, um, I give it, je le donne. I give it to him, je le lui donne. Same with the there. When you've got two, so my general teaching policy is this. When you've got, it's much faster in the mouth to think, well, when I've got two words, I'm going to put the one with the L at the end. So, il me le donne, il me les donne, je te les donne, je te la donne. The L word comes second. Or if I've got two L words, the longer L word is going to come second. So, je le lui donne, je la leur donne, whatever's going on. But with this method, a lot of the time, it won't just be an L word. So what I really want you to think of is think, plant your feet on the beach. Imagine the sand under your feet. You've got a beach ball. You've got, um, you know, a smaller ball, a tennis ball. Before you throw whichever ball, you need to decide the direction you're going in. So what I mean for this is, um, you know, he recommends you... He rec So I was translating with the lovely Monica earlier in the week. And we were talking about restaurants. And I said, OK, so my friend recommended you guys to me. So, the to me is the direction first. So, il me vous a recommandé. Okay? So, il me vous a recommandé. Okay? Um, as your general sort of habit of what would happen. So, if you're starting to use some of these for people pronouns, i.e. the indirect, you're going to start seeing them in the presence of the direct pronoun as well. Okay? So, I bought it for him. So, I bought it, je l'ai acheté. I bought it for him, je le lui ai acheté. Same rules about what's going to um, be coming first. Same rule about what's going to be going second. Yeah, so the L word, two L words, the longer one, you know, go second. But you're going to just be using lui and leur, um, or me, to mean for somebody. So, let's do a couple. So, he bought me a rose. Il m'a acheté un rose. He didn't buy me in some little sexy slave.